Hey, I wanted to show you, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these, um, like the counters on the right-hand side, the ones that I made for, um, like if I'm going to use them for uh, can games, for the Tannenberg uh, Spence and Gable game since I'll be running it. But uh, I'm, uh, Rob's coming over tomorrow for uh, our U.S. Civil War game there for our game day. So I'll run it by him and see what he thinks. So they're about uh, three quarters of an inch wide. They're just those little, um, like I said, the the that sponge. Uh, I don't know whatever you call it. The the things you can put on the uh, the bottoms of stuff so you don't scratch up your uh, wood or your floor. Um, and I you know scrunched it up to see how uh, resilient it could be if you know people are screwing around with it, can games and so on and so forth. Seems fine to me. And it's nice and big for, I don't know, who whoever it is, you know, um, someone who doesn't have um, a lot of uh, hand dexterity skills or Lord knows what, but uh, maybe that's a good idea. So this is the one I was going to go with for my uh, latest video uh, stuff for the, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out something for that. I got 42 days left till can games, man. I got to move on, uh, get to move on with the play uh, playthrough stuff. Then there's this one I was using, and then that's when uh, Charles was uh, mentioning, hey man, I, I'm having a hard time uh, differentiating things, and I can see why, holy smokes. And then the that one there is the, um, the bluish one there is the Excalibur Games one, and then that's the original um, one from Spence and Gable. So you can see a big size difference, but remember, I'm trying to think about for people for you know, at can games or be able to, you know, I just want them to be able to move things around pretty darn easy, uh, pick stuff up easy, uh, read it a mile away. I mean, obviously you can see how much more real estate I have here. I can go uh, freaking mental if I wanted to with the font size. And here's that thing I was showing you, like, remember, it's just, I don't care about all the wrinkles and everything. I just wanted to see if the, um, the concept was fine. So that's that canvas stuff uh block thing i wanted to see if i could use it as a mounted um map uh board or something it seems re i really like it so far but i have to f screw around with it a bit more i'm going to see if i could like put it in different um environmental conditions and see how it if it warps or whatever but i was able to like bend the living hell out of it and then and and put it back flat so that was interesting to see also this is fine uh, that left, it's just leftover bits of the paper that I didn't remove, but um, get the idea. So that's, yeah, like I said, that was my hand-drawn ha um, hex uh, hexes that, uh, you know, I scanned in later, and I just wanted to see. But I, I'm, like I said, I like the concept. And this stuff I have to learn, this is from that um, stuff where I, I was mentioning that I thought it was an incense, um, or thought all this was incense. I have no idea how to use this stuff yet. Um, I'm going to be hanging out with Zoe on Sunday. Um, uh, well, with other people as well, but I'll uh, run this by her. She may be able to understand what, the, what I'm supposed to be able to do with this. So, you know what? I'm uh, pretty darn happy. Um, and if uh, Rob says, yeah, you know what? Those counters on the right-hand side are Chris. No, that's ridiculous. Um, anyways, I'm going to go with what he says. That's that. All right. Hope you're having a good time. See ya.